In our current 2017 3 row SUV challenge, the 2017 Highlander completed toward the end in a field of four. On the off chance that it will contend with the most up-to-date three-push SUVs in its value run, the Highlander needs more, more space, more solace, and more innovation. Last completely upgraded for the 2014 model year, the Highlander got styling and drivetrain refreshes for 2017, including another grille and an accessible V6 motor that is all the more intense and works with another 8-speed program transmission. Our test show, an up-level limited trim with all-wheel drive, had the refreshed V6 drivetrain and an S-tried cost of $44,514 including a $940 gold charge. The Highlander's 2014 upgrade gave the SUV a harder look, and the progressions for 2017 take that outline topic significantly further. The refreshed front end has a colossal trapezoid grille with chrome bars that supplant the old snout-like outline, however the SUV's general shape continues as before. The Highlander's rivals in our challenge the overhauled 2018 Chevrolet Traverse, 2017 Honda Pilot and all-new 2018 Volkswagen Atlas are altogether greater outwardly, some fundamentally along these lines, and the Toyota's littler size can be felt in the lodge. Restricted trim outline prompts incorporate smoked headlights, 19-inch chrome haggles rooftop rails. Numerous cutting-edge three-push SUVs drive like enormous autos, however the Highlander isn't one of them even with drivetrain refreshes for 2017. The Highlander has a firmer, busier ride than the Traverse, which profits by a more drawn-out wheelbase that helps smooth out the ride, and in addition comfort-arranged suspension tuning. The Highlander is likewise louder on the parkway than the Chevrolet, with a constant shrieking sound at roadway speeds. While the Traverse and Atlas have light, exact directing, the Highlanders is more unclear particularly when beginning a turn and needs input. All things considered, the Highlanders suspension handles the SUV's mass well, it doesn't feel top substantial or insecure through clearing corners. V6-fueled Highlanders get the new 8-speed programmed. I loved the V6 drivetrain in the past Highlander, which utilized a 6-speed programmed. Despite the fact that the new transmission enables the SUV to show signs of improvement EPA assessed gas mileage, the driving knowledge endures. The most concerning issue with the new drivetrain is the means by which drowsy the SUV feels while quickening from a stop. It's exceptionally continuous notwithstanding when you press the gas pedal a decent piece like the transmission is in too high a rigging. Just at mid-range speeds does the drivetrain wake up and convey more grounded increasing speed. Moving the comfort outfit selector to the S position rather than drive enhances responsiveness a bit. Most trim levels with the V6 have an auto stop begin framework that stop the motor when you grind to a halt, at that point restart.